Good morning, everybody. I am using a four and a half inch uh, molded stone from the Happy Dotting Company molds, of course. I've painted it black. You can see those horrible brush strokes. I should probably paint another coat. Uh, but we're going to be hiding all of the imperfections very soon. Um, thank goodness for that center dot because now I'm using my compass to make a small circle. And I put four notches, one at the top, left, right, and bottom. And that's where I'm going to place some mirrors. I got these cute little circular mirrors off of Amazon and I've seen people, um, artists incorporate mirror into their canvases and I thought, you know, let's try it on a stone. So I've put these notches, I defined them a little bit better for you there, um, where I want the mirror to be, but I've got to like stencil it on there. <laughs> or draw around it so I know where I have to place them later on because we're not putting these on here until the very end until it's been resined even so um yeah so I've got to draw around where I want all my little mirrors to go as I'm creating this colorful mandala so what we're going to do is we're going to create our design in pencil and in gold then we're going to erase all the pencil and then we're going to fix it all up, clean it up, do some cleanup. You know, you know me. Uh, and then we're going to fill it in with color and you don't have to do dots if you don't want to. It's completely up to you how you fill this in, what colors you choose to use. Um, you get to be the creative genius. I'm just giving you some inspiration. Um, if you can hear, we're having a wonderful thunderstorm this morning. Um, I kind of tried to wait and hold off, uh, but you know what? This this is life. <laughs> so if you can hear um, the thunder rolling in, it's for dramatic effect of this video today. Um, and I'm not going to edit it out because I don't know how. So we're just going to keep it like that. So I'm drawing another circle at the edge of where those mirrors circles go out so you can see I drew another circle there and then I've drawn another one that's a little bit bigger that we are bringing these teardrops down to. This might be confusing um, because it's kind of hard to tell right now what's pencil and what's gold paint but we're going to be we're going to be erasing all the pencil afterwards so just just try and pay attention to the design that I'm putting in gold and, and if you can tell the difference between the paint and the pencil, ignore the pencil. It's not going to be there. We're just using it as reference so that we're kind of keeping everything even. Um, there are things that you can get at Happy Dotting Company as well that help you um, create lines and notches and circles and so that everything lines up when you're, when you're doing a stone. Um, I do have some of those, but they're packed right now. Um, because good news, Rachel's moving for the third time in five months. <laughs> Please pray for me and my boy. Uh, this is a good move. Um, we've had to move multiple times because of the marital situation that I'm in. Um, yeah, so I'll explain a little bit more after. So what I've done after those teardrops is I added two other small teardrops, but I put them off to the sides, but I brought them up to that same first circle that touches the edge of our mirror circles. I hope you're able to understand what the heck I'm saying. I do not know, know why I edited out it, but there's something missing here. You guys didn't even see me add those two little... Um, loops beside the teardrops um, but that's what I've done I've added two more little loops which go up to that first uh, circle that I penciled on there and now I'm adding dots between those bigger dots and now I'm walking dots up around this circle where the mirrors are going to sit so it's kind of like a frame for the little mirror um, if you hear anything else that's strange 
like buzzing. That's my dryer. <laughs> I'm trying to be very productive this morning um, because I have a lot to do. So I've let this dry a little bit so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. We've got little dotted frames for our mirrors. The mirrors are filthy because of my fingerprints, but yeah, you know what I'm trying to do. So we have, we can barely see pencil except for that outer circle, but we are going to take an eraser to this once it's completely dry. Um, so don't worry about any of that. Sometimes I forget to go back and get rid of some of the pencil, but you don't even see it. Uh, but we're going to this time just so you guys make sure you don't forget that step. So I'm doing some little swoops, which I, I, I end up having to kind of shape a little bit better using some black paint when I clean it up because they don't really look like very nice little swoops. Um, I'm trying to make this circle a bit more circular because <laughs> even if you draw on a circle with a pencil, you still have to try and keep the paint um, looking nice and clean and make sure you don't lose your circle. Um, but if you do, don't worry about it. Nobody's going to point that out. So I'm making another circle. And with this, I'm swooping down from those big teardrops, doing like kind of a wishbone. And I'm keeping that wishbone within those two lines that we've penciled on, those two circles, frames. I'll call them frames. Um, so yeah, we're keeping that in weird shaped wishbones, but we don't use real technical terms here. Um, and see, I'm kind of shaping my swoops so they look a little bit cleaner. I'm not good at those. I've never been good at them. I can dot all day, but swooping is, is not easy. I don't know what you guys call it, but I just call it swoops. <laughs> so now I'm cleaning up my wish bones to make sure they're not too thick. Um, and now I'm swooping like Spider-Man's web. I'm swinging from one place to another and it's right underneath that teardrop. So we just have like one little swoop there. See, I call that a swoop too. <laughs> so in these little areas, we're putting a mirror and I'm drawing a circle. That's going to be where more mirrors are going to go. You incorporate the mirrors in wherever you want. And if you don't use resin, you can glue your mirrors on after you seal your stone. Now I'm using a dotting needle to dot around this circle that we have in pencil, the one that reaches the tip of the teardrops. And I'm just doing very small dots, kind of looks like chain. If you, if you think of it that way, it kind of looks like a chain. Um, so yeah, we're not going to see that pencil. It's been covered. Just be creative. You can put these little dots wherever you want them. You can chain anywhere you want. Like if you want to swing from one area to the other, like Spider-Man with chain, all the power to you. <laughs> Just have fun with it. That's all you got to do. So I'm adding to these wishbones. It kind of looks like a whale fin now. <laughs> so we've turned our wishbone into a whale fin and then I'm going to pinstripe the whale fin. I'm going to pinstripe it a few times because I didn't feel like I had put enough stripes in it the first time around. Um, you don't have to pinstripe it. It just, uh, when I, when I dot it later with colors, I'm going to put like a different color in each space between those gold pinstripes and it looks really pretty. So that's why I do pinstripes. You'll see, you'll see the color. I'm going to fill it in, um, and chat with you while I fill it in. So back to, uh, moving. I've been in limbo. <laughs> for quite some time, um, been living out of boxes and my son's room hasn't been set up in his way. And it's been like, you know, just unsettling and, and that lim limbo is, is uncomfortable. Um, so August 1st, we're moving again. 
I'm very excited. My son is so over the moon. He's already planned out where he's going to put things in his room, even though he doesn't even know what his room looks like. Um, he's already got it planned out and he's thinking positive and he's counting the days down and um, it just melts my heart. It makes me feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel, <sighs> which, you know, there has to be, right? There has to be. Things can't always be horrifying. They can't be. So I've added underneath where those mirrors are going to be, I've added three little petals and I'm just kind of thinning out the gold right now, but I've just kind of done three evenly sized petals the best I could to fill in some more space. Um, it's hard to see down the sides of the stone. So hopefully you're able to see what I'm doing here. So now that I've got those petals on there, I'm doing another swoop. We're going to call it a swoop. <laughs> a line. And we're just kind of encasing that little area where that mirror is going to be. I just fill it in with whatever, you know, maybe add some dots here and there. And, and I just keep going until I feel like it's, it's done. And then when I feel like it's done, I add color. So it does look complicated and someone would look at this and be like, nope, can't do it. But it really isn't that, it really isn't. Slow down, slow it down and watch what I'm doing. It's not that not that scary. So I'm using a pencil again and I'm uh, getting the uh, underneath the pinstriped whale tail. We're putting more mirrors. Um, so in total, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, there's 13 in total uh, on the whole rock. So one of these little bags of mirrors will last a couple of rocks for sure. So I will show you, I'm putting dots between these petals and then I'm going to do some chain again with the tiny little dots going from one dot to the next around those petals. Um, just try to do your dot sizes approximately the same. It does not ever have to be perfect, um, but just try to do them close to the same size. And I don't go too far ahead. I always do one step at a time and do it evenly around the entire rock. Um, and I, I don't go ahead of myself anywhere because then I forget, I forget parts. So if you know what I'm talking about, so I'm doing the chain work between these bigger dots. You can steal some of the gold paint off of those bigger dots too, if you don't feel like going back and forth to your paint tray. And then I'm just making bigger dots. I've grabbed a different dotting tool and I'm walking around that with bigger dots just to kind of finish things off, give it some closure put a little frame on it. Um, and then I'm just going to add like a little pointed area, like a triangular shape around our, our last mirrors that we are adding. And then we're, we're done. We can clean it up, take some black and clean up any areas, take the eraser, make sure you wait till all of your black and gold paint is completely dry. You do not want to take a, an eraser to wet paint because you'll spend a lot of time fixing it. Um, this is what I meant by doing like a triangular shape around where those final mirrors are going to be. Once again, it's just to kind of finish it off, bring it down um, as far as you can down the side of the rock and I, I have it sitting on a piece of paper so that it slides easier when I'm spinning it around. <laughs> um, now I've looked up spring summer color palette for 2023 and these are the colors that came up. So I'm going into my uh, paint supply and see what I can come up with here. Now, they're not going to be exact, of course, um, 
but I think that these colors are going to look really pretty together anyway. Um, so I have added a couple more pinstripes to my whale tails. As you can see, there's a less black space between those pinstripes. Um, we are going to be dotting in that black space anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And you can see I'm also erasing all of the pencil. Make sure you get rid of it all. We are going to be filling most of the space in, but some of it's going to be remaining black. Um, and we don't want there to be any pencil marks and stuff on there, but we'll go over it many times before, uh, before we cover it with resin. That's for sure. So I'm just going to clean up a little bit using my fine lining brush and some black paint and making sure that everything looks the way I want it to look. This is sometimes the most therapeutic part of painting my stones is, is the cleanup part. And I actually enjoy it. So, um, it's tedious. Some people think it's quite boring, but I find it, it it's just nice to perfect it a little bit before you uh, continue. So I'm putting a mirror in the center as well. So I just traced that on there and I'm going to fix up that black paint a little bit uh, in there because it's all smudged and I've, I've got pencil and everything in there. So I'm not going to scrape off that center dot today like I normally do because we're putting a mirror over it so you're not even going to you're not even going to notice it. So we're just going to leave that there. We're going to let that dry and then we're going to add some color. Now I will be starting off with red. You can use whatever flavor of red you want to. Um, I chose the brightest red that I had in my inventory. Um, and I'm just going in and doing those little petals in red. And then I'm going to do an outer line using my dotting needle of orange on those on that red. So I'm adding red in, in certain areas. Just keep an eye of where I've added it. Now pure pumpkin. Um, so whatever orange color you have in your inventory. Um, I'm going to be using some pink, pink melon. Um, see, there's the orange dots around the edge of the red petals. You can see that ever so slightly. Um, sometimes I edit out me doing certain parts accidentally because I'm not, not professional. <laughs> <laughs> Although by this time I should be, um, I sometimes edit out some stuff that I shouldn't have. So you miss bits and pieces, um, but I try not to forget to tell you about it. So in here, we've got pink melon. I will list all of the paint that I'm using, all the paint colors in the description of this video, um, in case you miss it. So this is hot pink by Martha Stewart, and I'm going around where those mirrors are going to be going right above the red. I'm also going to add a little bit on the tips of those um, right here, those teardrops that have already been colored in. Just a little bit on the very, very end because it just kind of brightens it up a little bit. So we're going to be doing a bit of peacock blue. And that's going in here. We're going to put some other colors in there as well. So we're just doing the top bit. Now we've got some adrift or patina also looks quite similar. Um, so if you have a patina but not adrift, you're good to go. Or you can mix colors um, until you have something that's similar. I'm also going to be adding some bright lime green in there um, in a few areas. You're, you're going to see me incorporate these colors in, in certain areas. We're going to keep it everything, keep everything all together. Now I'm putting some more of that adrift down here. I will also be adding green. Usually I'm trying to keep the colors together. So if I add blue and green together over here, blue and green is going to be together over there. It's just the way I do things. Don't come for me. <laughs> so some nice bright lime green. Choose whatever green you want, but a nice bright one would look really good in these uh, larger teardrops. So I'm adding again, like we did before with the orange on top of the red. I'm putting a little bit of green on top of that adrift blue 
which you can't even see me doing because you're out of frame. I'm out of frame, um, which I'm also not good at doing. <laughs> I need people to tap me on the shoulder and say, Rachel, they can't see what you're doing. Rachel. But no, nope. I'll learn one day. I'm going to add a different color green, different shade of green. This is also Martha Stewart, and it is Swing Set Green. It's bright, and it's going to look really pretty um, right above where these mirrors are going to go in that triangular area. So you can see I've just filled it all in with that green. And underneath the, the mirror at those triangular areas is going to be peacock blue again. Um, but we'll do that after. Now I've filled in a couple of spaces in the pinstriping with peacock blue. I did the four center spaces, just dotted them in there with peacock blue. And then I'm going to use a drift. Then I'm going to use hot pink. Then I'm going to use orange. And you can see uh, in our whale tails, they're starting to become like a little rainbow of colors there. I go to the uh, pink coral and then green, and I do the same exact color design in each whale tail. So I just go around with the same colors and fill it in with like a rainbow pinstripe thing going on here. It's like eye candy. <laughs> I'm going to be doing the center with peacock blue. I'm going to leave a lot of the rest of this black. I want to see the chain that we did. I want to see those gold dots that we did. Um, so I'm going to keep a lot of the black. It's up to you if you want to keep going. If you want to fill in the entire stone with, with dots, that's up to you. Um, if you don't like the color scheme that I've used, you change it. Uh, if you don't like the size of stone that I used, you decide. It's all up to you. Um, this is just me being me, giving you some ideas um, and having fun. So this is it before we resin. Now I am going to resin it and let it sit in its resin bath for about six to seven hours. And then I'm going to stick the mirrors on at that time. So you're going to see it when the, when it's fully dried and the mirrors are already like glued right onto it. Um, so you're not going to see that part, but basically just wait six to seven hours in, um, use like a, a stick that you can use to pick up rhinestones or flat back crystals, like a wax stick, um, to pick up your mirror pieces, or you can use tweezers to pick up your mirror pieces and then stick it right onto the resin. Um, and then it'll just, it'll glue there. It'll just stay there. So you're going to see it in a, in a few minutes, all sparkly and shiny. Well, I was going to turn off the sound for the video so you couldn't hear the birds, but why not? It sounds really pretty. <laughs> um, so here it is, guys. Isn't it beautiful? It's so shiny and sparkly and the, the lights just hit those little mirrors so nicely. Um, looks nice inside under a lamp because the, the light bounces up onto the walls as well. So pretty. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to try it. Uh, check my description for my Amazon link for the little mirrors and for the list of all the colors. Keep painting guys. I love you. Bye.